Hi everyone, uh, my name is Theo Mgoma. Uh, I'm a teacher at Umlazi Comtech High School, which is situated in uh, Umlazi. I'll be doing a virtual lesson on chattering, which is a very good lesson for those who are looking to venture their business at sea. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, what is chattering? Right. Um, a chattering is an activity within the shipping industry whereby the ship owner chatters out or lends out his ship to a guy called a chatterer. <laughs> now let's look into this guy who called a chatterer. Right. A chatterer is a person or it can also be an organization that borrows or hires a ship from a ship owner just to move good from one place to another. Then there needs to be an agreement between a ship owner and a chatterer. So that agreement between them is called a chatter party. Normally this agreement consists of all the terms and conditions. So if we're looking in depth on those terms and conditions, there's a laken where it stipulates the date and the place where the ship needs to be delivered now that it's being chatted out. And also there is a term called off hire. In this case, the off hire happens when the ship does not meet the requirement for a charter. Let's say it breaks down the engine. So the charterer has a right to put that ship off hire, which means at that particular case, they are not the ship owner does not earn anything during that charter. And then we also have a notice of readiness where a master of a ship needs to notice a ship, a charter, that the ship is outside, hold her clean and empty, ready to load their cargo. So that is a charter party. I'll also show you guys a copy of a charter party so you can see who signs where, the dates, and everything. So now we have a types of charter because obviously we have different needs. So there are different types of charter in which if you are a charter, if you are a charterer, you can look into. There's a void charter, there's a time charter, and there's a bubble charter. Let's go to a time ch void charter first where a ship and a crew is hired for that specific voyage, saying the ship is moving from Durban, going to Mumbai in India, that is a voyage. So it is only hired for that particular voyage. It can also be a, a written voyage, which is a written trip. So in this particular voyage, in this charter, the ship owner pay for port charges and obviously pay for everything because it's just for a voyage. So the responsibility of a charterer is to ensure that the cargo is ready to be loaded and it is loaded on board the ship and that's it. So let's look at to a time charter where the ship is hired for a specific period of time. Now they specify the time in this one. It needs to be between three months and three years to be a time charter. Even though the, still, the, the owner still manages a ship, which means they pay salaries and also maintain a ship, but the charterer maintain all the sailing schedules and port calls. So they, they look into that. That's what they do. That is time charter. The last one, which is a bareboat charter, it's called a bareboat charter because it's a naked charter. What does naked charter mean? It means there's no administration and technical staff in this charter, which means no crew, no managers, no agent. The charter pays for all operations, expenses, which include crew members and also fuel, for all ports and insurance, importantly. So they pay for insurance. So. One will say in a bareboat charter, 
The ship charterer is like a temporary owner of the ship. That's okay as well. So, yes. So let's look into a reason why we're chartering a ship. Why is the charter going for chartering a ship? So there's a large amount of capital that is required for you to buy a ship. So in that instant, you need a ship at that particular time. You have contract at that time. So you just need to hire a ship. So also admin, you need, there's a lot of administration that is required for you to, to build the ship. And the company might just need to transport a cargo from point A to point B. So you will look into hiring a ship that, rather than buying a ship. Yes. And then you will then have a, a lot of questions about who can charter a ship and why is that business that big to charter a ship. We have an example of uh, companies that uh, chartered a ship like Shell. They will charter a ship under a bareboat charter because they'll be transporting their fuel for a long time. So in under a bareboat charter, you would even consider rebranding a ship, writing a ship, the name of, your, of, of the company. So it actually, or technically your, your ship at that particular time, then looking into a voyage charter, which is just for that particular voyage and back. So bareboat charter is a very good charter. So a charterer, they pay a lump sum or they pay or they either pay a charter amount which is taken maybe for a day or for a month, depending on what is stipulated in their charter party. So that is a, a, a charter lesson. And then the next, next lesson, we'll be looking into a, a lay time calculation because remember, the ship needs to stay in port. And a lay time agreement is stipulated on the charter party as well. So you take more time, you pay, you, you, get, you take less time, they pay you. So it's, it's all about the money. So this is business. Let's do it. Thank you.